ever been driving on a road so loud that you couldn't even hear yourself sing along with the radio, even to the point that you finally just gave up and turned off the radio altogether? Yeah, well, that happens to me also sometimes. In fact, one day I got back to my office after driving on a particularly noisy road and started thinking about this idea of noise, the tire interacting with the aggregate, the rocks, the cracks, and the pavement, and I googled road roughness standards. I was interested in looking at this kind of roughness that's irritating me and interrupting my classic 80s. And by Googling road roughness standards, I found something completely different. I found a ton of information about things like speed bumps, the kinds of road roughness features that affect shock absorbers, not noise and traction and, and things that irritate my ears. So they were treating road roughness as longer wavelengths in the shock absorber industry. The wavelength is the spacing between the peaks of a sine wave. I was looking at very short spacings or narrow spacings or short wavelengths. They are looking at longer wavelengths in the world of suspension and speed bumps. The same road had two different things considered as roughness. My roughness was not their roughness. Well, let's extend this thinking. Let's go to the world maybe of paintbrushes. We're gonna paint the stripes on the road. In this case, we aren't interested so much in the rocks or the speed bumps, but actually what's on the side of the rocks themselves, the pits and the pores, and the very short wavelengths that are associated with paint sticking to the surface. Going in the other direction, what about the fact that the road may wind up and down through hills as it goes off into the distance? Things that maybe GPS would see at the satellite scale. This also could be considered global roughness or astronomical roughness as the satellite looks down on the Earth, and these are very, very long wavelengths. It could also be considered roughness from outer space. So what we have is the same road having four potential things being called roughness. In math and science, we like to consider this as a spectrum, a range of things. And in fact, this is a spectrum of wavelengths in our road. And we use cool looking Greek symbols to describe things. And the symbol for wavelength is lambda. So I was interested in a range of wavelengths or a range of lambdas that relate to my tires grabbing and making noise and irritating my ears, where the suspension industry was looking at a different range of wavelengths. They were looking at wavelengths that make your shock absorbers move up and down. Now to describe roughness, what we need to do is come up with a short wavelength limit, perhaps something at the scale of sand for my tires, up to a long wavelength limit, up to the scale of rocks and where they start to interact with shock absorbers. Maybe the shock absorber industry has its own short wavelength limit up to a long wavelength limit. But in any case, in order to talk about roughness, we need to first talk about which shapes or which wavelengths are we going to consider in our conversation about roughness. <laughs>